Well, isn't this an interesting development? <clears throat> so, Daisy Ridley insists sexism in Star Wars fandom is blown out of proportion. Hmm. Daisy Ridley, the star of the Star Wars sequel trilogy, an upcoming New Jedi Order film, which I hope that they cancel, has insisted that sexism within the franchise fan base is blown out of proportion. Since it was announced that Ridley would return as Rey in an upcoming Star Wars movie, common complaints have been raised by those who consider the sequel movie to be the worst ranked Star Wars trilogy. While many have shared their excitement for the movie, I don't know who, uh, and Ridley's return as Rey, some aspects of the film's production, including director Charnine Obey Chinoy's prior works, have caused similar online discourse that surrounded the sequel trilogy. Before I go further into this, we all know, all the fandom, fandom knows, that sexism was never a problem with the fandom. There may be small outliers, but in no way, shape, or form did the fandom ever have a problem with women. In fact, the women are some of our favorite characters in all of Star Wars. So, that's false. That's uh, a mechanism people use to try to, you know, silence you, I guess. You know, all type of istophobes they call you if you don't like the movie or series or show or game that they like. What we had a problem with was how the character was written and developed because it was totally different than what it seemed like the direction that they were going in, which is a direction that everyone loved. And that was that her and Finn would be force sensitive and become Jedi's and do some badass stuff. Uh, oh, and Luke, we thought would stay alive. Oh, and we thought that we at least get to see Han, Luke, and Leia uh, together again. There's, there's other stuff that, that people have a problem with, with the sequel trilogy. And the Rey character, while she is a nice girl, she's a likable girl. As a character, the way she was written, she was written in a way that angered fans immensely. So when they were angry, they were angry at the writing of the character and what you did with the character, not that she was a female. And it'll never be that. And as long as you continue to write bad stories, we're going to have problems with the female characters and the male characters. That's how it's going to be. In spite of this backlash, Daisy Ridley, backlash! <laughs> Daisy Ridley, has insisted that sexism in the Star Wars fan base is blown out of proportion in an interview interview with NBC News. When asked about the online controversy surrounding Rey's return in Star Wars New Jedi Order story, as well as the reaction to Obeyed Chinois Ridley, had this to say. Quote, I think my take is things get blown out of proportion and the interactions I've uh, ever had with people have been nothing but wonderful and supportive. I've only ever embraced. And I think we're going to make a great film. Wow. <laughs> uh, I've, when people were sending this to me, people were saying that she was running damage control for Disney. It could be, but I don't know. I mean, I've always told you that Daisy Ridley seems like a nice person. Like, I like what I see of her as a personality on the television screen or on whatever clips I see of her on YouTube or whatever I like. She seems like she's a good person. Could this be? I don't know. You know, the fans have been blamed and blamed and blamed and called all these names when they, that's not what it was. 
So now to say, well, hey, no, that's just cool. I prefer the shit, man. Everything was great. The funniest thing at the end is I think we're going to make a great film. Listen. <laughs> In comparison to what? In comparison to what? I'm telling you that if you're going to make another trilogy, this, oh my God, they're going to lose so much money and support from fans. Millions have already left. Millions have already left the streaming service. They've lost, bill lost billions of dollars. It is not good to keep going with this. They need to go back to the drawing board. They need to have to, can to canonically make the sequel trilogy an else world story. And they need to go forward and do things the way Lucas wanted to do them. Because then everyone will be happy. The fans will be happy. We'll pay to get the tickets and you'll make the money. Everybody's happy. See how that works? As evidenced by these comments, it's clear that the online vitriol does not affect Ridley's overall perception of, Star, of the Star Wars fan base, given the franchise's history of fan outcry, negativity affecting actors behind the scenes from Hayden Christensen and Jake Lloyd to Ahmed Best and Kelly Marie Tran. Uh, it is a joy to hear how Ridley's views, how Ridley views the fans of a galaxy far, far away. Yeah, so the, the whole thing is, like I said, there's outliers out there that will, you know, uh, like they didn't like the way, uh, I forgot her name, the Asian girl that liked Finn. Uh, I keep forgetting. They just gave the actress a name. but And they were harassing her. I heard about that, and that was absolutely wrong. Um, you know, these people are playing a character, and which one thing you have to understand is that a lot of these people that are in movies, big time movies, they're taking a shot. Our acting is a hard gig to get in and go mainstream and keep going. So what you have to understand is some of these people, they, they're like, hey, you got to audition for this part. Hey, like that's all they get. You know, they're sent the script or they have to go here or there. And nowadays, you read for it and you send them the video. You don't really have to live in L.A. to really make it. I think there's a portion to it because a lot of people are out there. It's good to make friends and rub shoulders and go to events and talk to people and be there. I think that that's a good thing. But the point that I'm making is this. A lot of these people are struggling actors and actresses. So what you have to understand is they're trying to get paid. They're trying to keep living, to keep working. So they'll they'll ace a, a, um, an audition. They get the part. They get in the movie. But they don't really know how the fans are going to take something. And the fans have to understand that. There's a lot of fans out there that don't understand that you should not harass these actors and actresses over this stuff. However, there is, and because you, and also because you don't know these people, you don't know the situation. Okay. But I've also spoken on other occasions that once you get to a certain level in acting, it is your job to not destroy your brand and you must protect your brand. You must know the fandom that you are talking to, know the market that you are speaking to, and that you are selling something to. You as an actor are selling that product to people, to buy, to go see, to, to binge watch on Netflix, whatever it is, you are selling that. And you need to understand who's watching you and how they feel about these characters. It's important. So, you know, I think a lot of people, they, they take these parts, they just, they help. it's the Star Wars, and they, oh yeah, I'll read for that part. And, uh, yeah, okay, you know. And sometimes people aren't even fans of this stuff when they get in. 
They don't have to be fans. I know that fans would prefer them to be fans. <laughs> like, look at Hugh Jackman. He didn't know who Wolverine was. He started acting like a wolf when he came in for the audition. I saw him talking about it. But look at him. He's beloved now, right? He's become the character. So, just keep that in mind. Leave people alone. Um, you know, it, it's different when it's something like, you know, I don't know. Who were people bothering for a while? Oh, Captain Marvel. What's her name? Brie Larson. Because of what she said about a moment in time or whatever. And when I heard her say, I was like, oh, God. Oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I knew once I heard it, I was like, I don't know how some people can, you know, they literally will single out <laughs> people and say, Sorry, okay, you didn't expect that to happen. I don't know. Okay, you're out of touch. You're out of touch. And a lot of people these days are out of touch, especially the people that are making the entertainment for us. They need to understand and learn that uh, this ain't it, Chief. And um, I wish Daisy Ridley the best. However, uh, I, I do not want this series. None of us want this series. It's a very, very, very small um, percentage of the fandom, of the total fandom, want to see a Ray trilogy. So uh, they're, they're going to find out the hard way if they continue. They, they are. They're just going to they're gonna be broke. You know what I mean? Post comments down below. Let me know what you all think about the situation. If you enjoyed my thoughts and take on this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and share.